presentation is entitled The Flow Riders, and it's really a, que a presentation where I'm going to ask a series of questions of the people who are viewers. And before I get started, though, I want to ask the viewers another question to consider. Really, I was watching a video by PersonKind, where he sort of hinted around to this possibility. He didn't come out and say it, but it, it certainly got me thinking. And the question we really need to ask, question without a conclusion right now, is will the financial contagion that we're watching in pigs, Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece, and Spain, spread to France? It's very possible. Could it be that the UK is better positioned than France would to handle this crisis because the UK has a standalone currency. That's why the US might also be better prepared to handle this crisis because does really the country of France share some of the same structural elements of the euro in terms of how that currency is organized and in terms of the ability for central bankers to react? I guess this is a good question to ask now. It seems to me the timing is right for it. So I'll leave you without a conclusion, but instead with an indicator of interest, the same way I was interested in Greece a few months before Greece hatched out as a problem. Now, we've been spending a lot of time lambasting government. There's a lot of things which we can point to which are egregious both with finance and government. And that's just, just saying it lightly. And you know, I don't need to go over what I've been going over in a series of presentations, how corrupt and how criminal finance and government has become. But in a functional system, if you had a functioning government and a functioning financial system with Glass-Steagall, you would have two things working consistently in your favor to help you generate wealth. And it's a requirement of both of these entities to uh, be of the highest integrity. If they are meeting their responsibilities instead of failing, our outlook for the future would be better. So we have, though, not only a single dangerous group of finance and government, which right now is becoming more fearful and paranoid, it would be easier for them to address them, their own problems, which they are creating, to look at themselves in the mirror. But we also have another group of people that aren't looking themselves in the mirror, and those are the flow riders who are currently deaf, dumb, and blind. To me, these people are as large a problem as are the people that we consider to be elite because they're going with the flow. For them, these people, they're in a nice, comfortable place doing what's expected. And most of them get loans that they need as, as, as needed. They buy a house, so I, uh, the credit's there to get a loan. They get a car. They get an $8,000 tax break. They get a, uh, uh, could buy things they don't can't afford, they don't think about their job security, they don't think about the national security. They vote either Republican or Democrat, and those are the two choices they have, which is no choice at all. They get a financial planner that's probably not financially literate. They send their kids to business school to do things which won't be useful in the future. They faithfully watch and read about celebrities. They text left and right, and they believe this pervasive lying that's in the media and in the system. And just like government and finance failing us, sort of these, this majority is also failing us. And worse yet, these people expect to be taken care of. I just think it's a, I'm obliged to point this out. It's okay to lambast half of the equation because you could do so with impunity. How do you lambast a whole society to get it to wake up? Can you urge people to starve the beast, which I've done in these presentations, to maybe attend a meetup group, which is still scheduled for Saturday, 2 p.m., Starbucks 33rd and 5th Avenue in New York City, coffee meeting. I'll meet you outside of Starbucks. What can you do to wake up these deaf, dumb, and blind people? Because they're a major, major problem. Our approach could be to demand you know, that, that we, we address a center of gravity, you know, let's say, in the government and finance area by demanding that symbols of this corruption are dismantled, such as Goldman Sachs. Right now, government's going to look at a minutia issue, and they're going to miss the overview issue. And the overview issue is that finance should be helping people to raise capital for the future, because that is part of the fuller model where people have a technological way out. 
how do we affect the great majority of people who are just in this stupor? To me, these people are even more dangerous than a criminal government, criminal financial law cap, fin cap government. I'd ask you at this time to think about it. And if you fall into this category, I would urge you to wake up, not just watch the videos. Again, thank you for your time.